invasion of Timur. Amir Timur or Tamerlane, Timur the Lame as he was called, was born in 1336 AD in Kesh, which was 50 miles south of Samarkand. Conqueror of Persia, Afghanistan and Mesopotamia, he invaded India in 1398. He had no intention of annexing India to his empire but to loot its rich booty. Feroz Shah's successors, who ruled from 1388 to 1414 AD, were weak and incompetent. Timur took advantage of the civil war being waged between the governor of the Hindu chiefs and invaded India during the reign of the last Tughlaq ruler, Muhammad Tughlaq. Timur crossed the Indus and conquered Multan and Punjab, destroying this area completely. When he reached Delhi, Muhammad advanced to face him but was badly defeated. Muhammad fled to Gujarat. Timur stayed in Delhi for 15 days and massacred the innocent Indians. When Timur left India, he took a large number of skilled artisans as captives. On his way back to Samarkand, he plundered Meerut and also invaded Jammu. The ruler of Jammu was compelled to embrace Islam. With Timur's invasion, the dynasty founded by Gayasuddin Tughlaq came to an end and paved the way for Babur's conquest of India in 1526 AD. Effects of Timur's invasion There was disorder and confusion in the country. Delhi was ruined and depopulated. India's wealth was drained off to foreign countries. His invasion widened the gulf between the Hindus and Muslims. Indian art found its way in Central Asia. Timur's invasion paved the way for Mongol conquest. Babur was a descendant of Timur and he claimed the throne of Delhi partly on account of his descent. If you want to know anything about Indian history, please leave it in the comment box so that I can come back with it. If you have liked the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.